Let me ask you a question. If I have four elements or four atoms in front of me, that is fluorine, oxygen, nitrogen and chlorine. Out of the four, which one do you think will not form a hydrogen bond? And please think, why will it not form a bond? Now, some of you must have chosen the answer as chlorine and the others would have taken it as nitrogen because these are the two possibilities or the two most likely possibilities for this answer. Now, if you remember that the electronegativities of nitrogen and chlorine are almost same, right? But still, there is a difference as to which one will make hydrogen bonding. And that difference arises from the second factor that we had learned, which is the small size of the atom. Now, how does the small size make a difference between nitrogen and chlorine? This concept will be discussed with respect to charge density. Now, for understanding charge density, let's go to the kitchen. Come. Hey guys, how are you? I told you that we'll be having some fun in the kitchen. I know you might be hungry looking at the kitchen, but we'll have a topic of discussion first and then I'll make you eat the pizza. Right, so now what happened was I told you that nitrogen and chlorine both have the same electronegativity values that is 3. But still, we said that chlorine does not form the hydrogen bond and it is only nitrogen which can form the hydrogen bond. Now why is that? That is a term where we said it's the charge density. Now what exactly do we mean by charge density? I'll take this example of pizza. Don't start watering your mouth. I'll take the example of pizza and then we'll understand the concept of charge density. And once we are done with this, it's all yours. You can have it. Right. Now, let's see. Come over here. Right. So now let's say I have one regular pizza and I have one medium pizza. Depending on the size, let's say this is nitrogen and this is chlorine. We all know by now that nitrogen would be smaller in size and chlorine would be larger in size. Now, if I put some charge on both of them, right? So where would you find the density of charge to be more? Whether would it be nitrogen or would it be chlorine? Let's take a look at that. So let me bring in some toppings. Now you see, I have two toppings where I have tomato and olive. Right? And I have bifurcated them into two equal parts. Now understand this fact, these two toppings are behaving as the charge. And you know if there is a particular charge on an atom, it would be spread equally. Right? Now, if I take the olives and spread it over nitrogen. Right? Let's say I have spread it over nitrogen. And I also take tomato and I spread it over nitrogen. Right? And now I do the same thing with chlorine as well. So for chlorine, I'll take my olives, which were exactly equal to what I have done on nitrogen, and I'll sprinkle this across. Right? And I'll take my tomato, and I'll sprinkle it on the chlorine as well. Now, where do you see that more amount of toppings are present on each slice? If I take out one slice and if I take out the other slice, where do you find that the amount of topping is more? Exactly, the amount of topping is more on nitrogen. Right. So what will happen? See, what I'll do is I'll bring in two hydrogens with me. Right. I have two hydrogens. Now, if I place the two hydrogens over here, which slice, I'll repeat it again, that which slice would attract the hydrogen more towards itself? The one which has a higher charge density is the one which will attract the hydrogen more. And that is why the charge density 
on chlorine is less because of which the hydrogen does not get that partial positive charge that we are looking for for forming the hydrogen bond as compared to what happens with nitrogen right so that is why nitrogen is the one which forms the hydrogen bond and chlorine although having the same electronegativity value cannot form the hydrogen bond right so now with the pizza slices you saw that the one having a higher charge density is attracting the hydrogen more towards itself and the one which has having a lower charge density is not capable of producing a delta positive charge to the extent which is required for hydrogen bonding so can i conclude and can i say that it is not the electronegativity value that actually determines the hydrogen bonding capacity but it's the charge density that helps us out in solving this because nitrogen was small chlorine was big the electronegativity values were 3 for both of them but still only nitrogen formed it that was because of its charge density i hope this phenomena is absolutely clear to you right now this one's for you take a bite Bye bye